Hello everyone, this is John, and today I want to make a case for why we need to improve the graphical literacy skills of pre-service teachers. This is going to be a three-part video series, and for each video I'll be looking at the available methods and suggestions from the academic literature, and I'll be explaining why graphical literacy is important and how to better prepare pre-service teachers in order for them to teach graphs and graphic visuals at the high school level. So currently, there is literature out there to suggest that pre-service teachers are not adequately prepared to teach high school students about the various aspects of scientific investigation. And in particular, what I'm talking about is the ability to create and interpret graphs and graphic visuals. Uh, so, for example, according to the academic curriculum set out by the Canadian government, and I'd like to make a side note and probably set out in many other high school curriculums in other countries, it is expected that a high school student, uh, by the time they graduate from high school, should possess the necessary skills in order to use tables, charts, and graphs and draw accurate information from them. Unfortunately, though, this does not seem to be the case as graphical literacy skills are not actually explicitly covered in teachers college and as a result without having developed these skills these teachers are not adequately prepared to teach high school students about these subjects and as a result are unable to meet the educational standards set out for them so a point i want to make here is that to become a high school teacher in the 21st century it requires uh, the development of both scientific and graphical literacy. With technology advancing at such an exponential rate, computers and visual information are readily accessible and available to all. And this means that in today's society, individuals are more likely than ever to encounter graphs and graphical information, uh, whether that is in the news, um, within social media, books, or very other, various other sources on the internet. So it's important to possess the necessary skills and confidence to be able to interpret and understand these daily encounters with these visuals and be able to understand what they are depicting. And that is why extra emphasis needs to be placed on pre-service teachers as they need to remain current and most up-to-date with their educational practices. And that, in my opinion, includes scientific and graphical literacy. So already there has been recommendations made on how to uh, tackle this situation, how to improve the graphical and scientific literacy skills of pre-service teachers. Um, there's been suggestions for the Canadian education system, but since there's been research that has taken place all over the world on this topic, there has been suggestions for various education systems in other countries as well. What some of the literature is suggesting and the direction the education system needs to go is that in order to improve these literacy skills, they have to first begin in teacher's college. So for example, regardless of the discipline a pre-service teacher may choose to specialize in or teach at the high school level, they all need to learn about scientific and graphical literacy. And this should be taught without any exception. So originally, Graphical and scientific literacy might have only been specifically taught to those who are going to specialize in some sort of science or some sort of math at the high school level. But that is no longer the case. What is being recommended is that pre-service teachers in all disciplines should be learning these skills. And the reason for that varies. But the idea here is that a history teacher may encounter a situation where they will have to know the difference between a scatter plot and a bar graph and will need to know when it is appropriate to use which one and why. But at the same time, uh, a similar situation could happen for the physical education teacher where they are um, encountered with a graph or graphical representation and they'll have to explain uh, or be able to interpret this graph for his or her class and be able to explain the meaning of the results. So why is graphical literacy important? 
There's quite a bit of research on there to explain the importance of graphical literacy, and I've included some citations here. But all in all, graphical literacy is important because it involves the ability to create and interpret data in the form of graphs and graphic representations. Um, for the second point, it's essentially um, a part of scientific investigation and then one of the main tools to help us analyze, display, and draw inferences from data and quantitative relationships. Uh, but also graphical literacy involves us, uh, involves us to have the ability of being critical of presented data, meaning it gives us the ability to evaluate the claims of others or perhaps support the claims of our own. Uh, but by having graphical literacy skills, it allows us to think abstractly about data, but at the same time gives us the ability to simplify and summarize large amounts of data with relative simplicity. And um, on the other side here, I've mentioned that essentially it's a communication tool. It's a very important communication tool because you can get a message across a large audience very quickly. And it is one that, especially since it's in the curriculum, needs to be taught to high school students as well. But nonetheless, um, explicit training is needed. Um, just like any skill, graphical literacy needs direct teaching, it needs coursework, guidance, and hands-on experience. And uh, this is where things have fallen short in the past because there's never really been that direct attention placed on developing these literacy skills. But these aren't things that can be indirectly taught or inexplicitly taught. There needs to be emphasis put on them so people can learn these things hands on. So here I want to provide an example, uh, a bit of an older study now at this time, but a pretty important study to explain where pre-service teachers are in their ability to use or understand when a graph is appropriate and needed. So for example, in Roth's study in 1996, 17 pre-service teachers were asked uh, to determine if there was a trend between two presented variables with data. So for example, in this table, they would have gotten one variable with data and another variable with data, and they would have been asked do you see any trends within the data set? To the surprise of the to the surprise of the researchers, it turns out that only one out of the 17 pre-service teachers used a graph to determine if there was any trends. And that one individual said yes, and they were correct. Unfortunately, though, on the other case, the remaining 16 pre-service teachers did not use any graph. They just tried to look at the data. They tried to interpret it for any trends, because it, but at the same time, because it was so difficult to do so, they answered no, and that was the incorrect response. So this is just one example I want to provide as to why graphical literacy skills need to be emphasized more in teachers' college. And uh, to mention examples from above, uh, for example, the history teacher or the physical education teacher, there is great chance that these individuals will also be facing opportunities where they all have to deal with data um, or graphs or graphical representations. And they're going to want to know how to approach them, how to interpret them, or perhaps how to create them. So these things Although they apply very heavily within the classroom, because we're also in a technologically advanced society, they also apply in everyday life as well. This is the end of part one of this series, and in part two, I'll be diving into more literature on this topic and what the research has to say. Thank you for watching.